Howdy, I'm M16, I'm going to be your host today. Today, we're going to be making the giant. It's about six times the size of a normal zombie. Pretty tall, pretty big, pretty cool for a paper craft. I know this animation isn't as long as I would like it to be, simply because I do not have as much time anymore, but I think it's still kind of cool to add in maybe at the start of every video, maybe add like a little skit or something. But anyway, that's enough with me rambling. Sorry to keep you waiting, and let's just get straight into the tutorial. So due to this project being as big as it is with the zombie being six times the size of a normal papercraft figure, we're going to need to split the model, especially the head and body, into a few separate pages so we can add it all together. But for this first part here, you're just going to cut around all the pieces, cut out the tabs, cut out the sides. Self-explanatory. If you've done this before, if you've done this a million times, it's the same exact thing. Alright, so now we can move into folding slash scoring the design. If you know how to score, I recommend you do it, especially for a model like this where it's super big. Edges are kind of more noticeable if they're creased. Otherwise, just go ahead and fold it like normal. It's not too difficult. Just fold along the edges, kind of where the ends of the tabs intersect, if you can understand what I am saying, because I certainly cannot. Um, but just kind of follow along with what I'm doing here. Same as always. On a side note, your design is going to look slightly different than mine because I have updated it before this video has come out and after I finish recording. So it's going to look a lot better for you guys and a lot easier to follow along with, but you can still follow along just the same by watching this video. Did you see that cool transition? I know, right? I'm so original. Anyways, now we're going to be moving on to gluing the model, which is by far my favorite part, if you don't know that by now. So those white tabs with those very big black borders, you're going to just slap a bunch of glue onto them. And I do mean a lot of glue. You're going to need a lot of glue for this project since it's so big. Probably the fourth time I've said that this model is so big. But follow along, same as always and it'll come out pretty darn good since the tabs are so big there's little room for air.
And as a side note, as you have probably figured out by now, just glue the other pieces the kind of the same way that you've done the body, the head, just attach those two like separate paged pieces together and then, you know, just put all the tabs together, glue the top, and glue the bottom, same as you did for the body, to do that on the head. Alright, so now we can start attaching everything onto the body, starting with the arms here. After that, we're going to go ahead and do the legs and then the head respectively, and we're going to have a really, really cool model at the end here. It's honestly astonishing how big this thing is. When you look at it on paper, it doesn't really look that big, but believe me, this whole project, even though it's going to take you a little bit of time, it's well worth it at the end. It makes for a really cool display thing. All right, so that was the end of the video. Hope you enjoy your new giant paper craft that is actually to scale. The first one that is to scale, it, to my knowledge, that is actually on A4 paper. So I'm pretty proud of this design. I'm pretty proud of this model. Uh, I hope you are happy with your result and with all of my work that I put into this. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about the animation and about the video quality as I mixed a few things up like I always try to do. Keep things a little bit fresh, keep things a little bit new. Um, if you need a little bit more help, you can message me on Discord or just ask me on the Pixel Papercraft official Discord. You can find both of those in the description as links. And in the description, there will also be a link to the design that you can print out and make yourself by following this tutorial. If you're just skipping to the end of the video, just to let you guys know. Anyway, I really do appreciate you watching all the way through, all the way to this part. And I will see you guys in the next video. I am currently in the process of making the panda tutorial and I have been kind of busy since I have just started uh, working Tuesday nights as well now so that's why I haven't really been doing much as far as videos go 
Um, as you know, for me, school started already, so it's also going to be a little bit difficult to try to get some some time in here. And I'm also going to be doing Boy Scout campouts on the weekends, and those and weekends are the only days that I really have open. So uh, it'll be a little bit difficult, but if I just like don't procrastinate and like get my shit done, then I think I'm I'll, I'll, I'll I think I'll be okay. Um, if you're still listening, thank you. It does it means a lot to me. And if you could uh, kind of drop a like, share this with some other people. I'm trying to start to get monetized on YouTube so I can maybe start to get away from my job, question mark. Don't say anyone. Don't say that to anyone. Who are you going to say it to? I don't know. Um, I'm going to be trying to get a drone. I'm trying to sell, like, photos and videos on that, like, in my town. Um, the best, like, drone photographers are, like, two bucks an hour. So that's what I'm going to try to do try to get rid of the job because it's not a bad job i like the people that work there but you know it's just kind of taking time away from stuff that i want to do anyway uh third like final goodbye thank you for watching and i will see you all in the next video bye bye